Okay, let's start with grafting. So I have here are the rootstock, Maxifort, uh, M-A-X-I-F-O-R-T, you can look it up. And this is Grand Marshall uh, tomato, suitable for this time of year planting because it can tolerate some heat and by the time uh, it's uh, full production, it will be later in the season in the fall. Now you see how much bigger these are than this, the rootstock. The rootstock are aggressive, they go very fast. Uh, and even though this Grand Marshal was a seedling, when I seeded these, they outgrew them and outpaced them. They're very aggressive, they grow very fast, so you'll have a big mature plant, uh, like this will be much bigger uh, when it's grafted than on its own rootstock. Of course, the benefit of grafting is soil-borne diseases. Uh, uh, if you have soil diseases that uh, nothing can fix, uh, use uh, rootstock. The first thing I want to do is remove the uh, top parts of the uh, rootstock, which I'm not going to use, that's garbage, and um, cut and put in it the parts, uh, the top parts of the scion. So the bottom part of the plant is called the rootstock. I'm not going to, well, I'll try this one. So this is the rootstock. This is what I'm keeping. I'm keeping the bottom part, and this is the scion, so I'm taking the top part, and that's what I want to graft here, okay? Um, you notice there's lots of different opinions on where you cut, below the cotyledon, above the cotyledon. To me, that doesn't matter. What's more important is that you have at least an inch, maybe two inches is better, because when you plant it in the field, you definitely don't want to plant it too deep that the uh, graft union touches the soil. Because if it touches the soil, then the top part, the scion, will root and will grow plants, and it's not on the rootstock anymore. It has its own root, and then you lose the benefit of the rootstock. And now the trick is to find uh, the size that matches between these two, and then the clip that can be used for this piece. So here's a good size match between the two. Um, I remove anything that's going to be in the way. Uh, try to find a clip that matches. Oh, I also like to remove uh, most of the leaves out to reduce the, uh, the requirement for water that the top part needs because it's already cut. See how all of these have been, uh, most of the leaves removed. Uh, so that uh, because it's injured and it's cut, doesn't have its own root, uh, increase the chance that it will survive um, until it heals and etc. So, okay, this is too small, then that's why we switch to the other paper clip. And, uh, and it's just, just as simple as, uh, see, I'm pushing down on the scion part to make sure that it's completely touching. They have to be touching completely, not even the tiniest gap so that it can start healing. So here's one. Let's get one and trim the foliage. You can do it by hand or razor blade. And uh, like this one. See, push it halfway. Then open it again and push the scion in it, push down, make sure it's uh, uh, touching each other, you can't push it anymore. And the beauty of this type of clip is that you can use that uh, uh, plastic stick to support it so it doesn't fall to the side on its own weight. Okay, and let's do the third one. Okay, and uh, oops, there's one more stop. This is the one I wanted to get. 
Okay, let me show you then. So this is a little bit bigger clip, but without the loop that you can be used uh, with a, a pl plastic stick. So this is a little bit bigger, that will go well for a bigger diameter. See, halfway and halfway with this. And, uh, and if you feel that the top part is wiggly, meaning is not being squeezed by the clip and gonna hold it tight, then, uh, then that clip is, too, is the wrong one to use. Uh, here, uh, the, the scion is not wiggling, so it's not loose, uh, it's being grabbed. Because you want that clip to grab both bottom and top parts uh, in one place so they don't separate at all. Even the tiniest gap, they will not uh, join anymore. So, again, remove the excess foliage. The smaller the plant are better. I just don't have the skill to work with seedlings that are this big. Let me show you this. Professionals, they love to work with plants that are this big. But you know, you have to have delicate hand and good eyes to see, and then the smallest paper clip will work for that best. If you can do that, the smaller the, smaller the plant, the better. You see what I mean by having delicate... Uh... Stop this part. Stop. I should have brought 